that adjustable lead I did. Come around the tree with it. Put a toggle in it. Thanks to Sean Kelly for showing me that trick. Now, let me set this up right quick. All the gear I'll use today will be down in my description box. Just make it easy. Sure nothing's twisted. Everything's laying flat like it's supposed to. Take the strap, go through the buckle, and double it in half, and go back through the top of the buckle. That way you've got a quick disconnect. I can snatch it out if I need to. Pull it tight. Take the extra line. Throw it open. Now that briar I got right there. How about we eliminate that? One of them old cat briars. Just put it out of the way. Okay. When you get your hammock set up. You make sure everything is where you want. You center up on it. And you test everything. Make sure it's in position. Keep your legs under you just in case. Kind of bounce it a little. Make sure it's fully seated and something ain't gonna shift on bark or something like that. Put your weight fully in it, kinda. Yeah, she's gonna fly okay. All right, what we're gonna talk about today, summertime heat in a hammock. Now, I carry in my Blackbird haversack a little tarp we've already talked about. But there's a, another advantage, a little trick that I use during the summer to try to get out of the heat. And that is I use one of those emergency space blankets, or in this case, a reusable space blanket as a sun reflector. Now let me get me a ridge line set up and I'll show you that trick. Okay, now I got my quick deploy hooked up. Walk the other end. Around the tree. Come back, grab, twist, make a trucker's hitch, just like that. Yes, this is the old one. I have not remade this one. I know I made an improved one of this, and that's in my others. This is in a old set. And that's one of the reasons I'm bringing it out. Tighten it up good and tight, like that, and mark it off. Now, I don't know in your environment, but here in my environment, this is something you need to be very aware of. Before you tie a hammock to a tree or a tarp, look at the tree. Do a 360 around the tree. 
because of the time of the year, whatever, right now the ants will be going up and down the tree looking for sap. It's a source of sugar for them. And so they're going to go up there and they're getting that or whatever, and you just tied a bridge in the middle of their highway for something quick, a few minutes, like a quick rest on the trail. I'm just going to throw up my hammock real quick and eat a meal real quick. I'm not going to be here more than 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes at the top. Should not be a problem. But eventually, some of the ants are going to try and run it to see if this is a shorter route to wherever they're going. And they're going to cut across there. But they may also cut across your hammock. And if you have fire ants, like we do in my neck of the woods, you don't want to be laying there all nice and snug and asleep. And they slowly come into your hammock, and you got a bunch of them because their attack method is they evolved in a place that had big animals. So they would swarm over the animal, and then they would all bite at once. And I have woke up with my face, my head, my neck, my arms covered in ants. Dead asleep, never knew they were there. And suddenly wake up and it's like 50 bee stings all at once. You don't want to do that. So you check the trees ahead of time. Okay, now I've got my ridge up. I'm going to separate my two quick connects. Like this. And now for a sunshade, I'm going to use an emergency space blanket. The reusable kind. This is the type like you get at Walmart. And a lot of places sell it. Now, I know that the uh, SRO store carries it in uh, OD Green, which may be a preference, but it's still the shiny on one side and this. But in this application, I'm trying to reflect UV sunlight. I want the shiny side out. So I'm gonna put it up here, shiny out. Set this up on a diagonal. I pull it up, double it in half, push that up through the grommet, come over the top with the toggle, go through the loop, and pull the proof it not top. There it is, nice and tight. And notice the size. This is not big enough to completely cover my tarp, my hammock. Why am I doing this? This is a sunshade. This is for me to take a rest or whatever and block UV radiation. Because right now I am in the shade. But in fairly short order, that sun's going to drop out and I'm not going to be in the shade for several hours. And I want to be able to take a rest. So I want to be as in much shade as I can get. And even if I'm under pine trees, what I'm actually getting is shadow, not shade, because you need broadleaf trees to create a shade. It absorbs the UV radiation. This is going to act as my UV absorber. So I'm going to pull it out and stake it out diagonally. To do that, I'm going to use one of my new tent stake tricks. Down in the bottom of my haversack, I carry a bag. And in that bag, there are four tent stakes with that adjustable guy line already rigged up to the tent stake. So this is ready to go. Now, hold on a minute. I'll show you hooking this up. my hand down in there. When I went to go down and do that, I heard something slide. And that's something you pay attention to. 
Now, we got the stake. Through the top, I pass the loop. I take the loop back over the top, pull it out. Now I unwrap, just like this. There's my guy line already attached to the stake. Here's the Prusik knot right here to slide up and down and make adjustments to it. The loop on the end is big enough to go through the grommet by itself and then pass the rest of it through the loop. So I grab it, I stick the loop up through the grommet. Open it up, and I simply take the stake and pass it through it. Now that's Lark's headed in place. Now I feel how far out do I want it? Maybe about another foot and a half. I just out, move it out. Right about there should be good. And I do it so that the stake is completely wrapped around with the cordage. Now I pull it out and stake it down. Just like that. There's my guy line adjustment ready to go. I can adjust it tighter or looser just by pulling it. Now I'll do the other side. So, by putting this up, I've got a thermal barrier that reflects heat off of me, not just as a true rain fly or something like that. And most of the rain flies that you pick up for tarps, hammocks, etc., are actually rated as a waterproof rating, and most of them have a very low UV rating. Well, they're trying to keep it down because you want super light, and that is true. It is super light, and it is waterproof. But during the day, when you're trying to take a siesta because it's so hot, you need a shade you can carry with you. Now, I don't usually carry one of these, uh, these uh, reusable blankets, but I do in the summer for this. It'll be rolled up and stuck to the bottom of the haversack or something as an additional shade. I've still got my little uh, tarp that I've showed in earlier videos in there, and that I could sh uh, put up very quickly for rain and then overlap with this as an additional layer. But where this really shines is to be shiny and reflect and be a UV barrier. And down here in my part of the south, that is a big thing. Because I've gone and set up my tarp, got in my hammock, and I'm technically in the shade. And you lay there and you just sweat. I mean, you're just burning up from the heat. It's because that doesn't stop the UV radiation. That's coming through to you. And then it's heating up, and that's radiant heat coming in. And you're just like, wow, you're just dying. There isn't any air movement. I don't want anything on me, so I want it open like this to catch it. But by using one of these reusable space blankets or even a thin little Mylar emergency blanket, I put duct tape on the corners of it before and put cords on it just to drape it over an existing tarp to act as a UV reflector. It makes a difference. Hope this will give you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. And if you hadn't, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button before you go. Till next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.